What's up, Wildfire? It's Coach Damien here. I got your workout for today. It's Taco Tuesday, so you got a core grinder coming up. All right, so starting off, we have a seven minute AMRAP warm up. All right, you're gonna go out for a 200 meter run or a minute of cardio, whether that's jump rope or side shuffles, just get nice and warmed up. From there, you got a 30 second plank hold. Nice and active, keep that core engaged. You can go off your hands or your forearms, either one for this, all right? Then from there, we're stepping the box height up a little bit, right? Getting ready for our workout. You have 10 box step ups. The RX height is gonna be 30 and 24. Just challenge yourself on the height to get these legs nice and warmed up. Get that high step, right up for one, back down, switching legs, right? Seven minutes to work through those, challenge yourself on those, all right? Then off of the bar, you're gonna get 10 active shoulder holds. Like, so here's from uh, protracted to retracted, hold for 10, all right? If you don't have the bar to hang from, you could do it from the ground here, protracted, retracted, back and forth for 10. Go through that for seven minutes, all right? Now our core grinder, we have four rounds. We're getting 20 seconds of work, then 20 seconds of rest. Because I know everybody dies on these core grinders, I'm giving you the 20 seconds transition means I want 20 seconds of full work. All right, we're starting off with crossbody mountain climbers. So in that tall plank position, that crossbody, that leg's coming over to that side and back, okay? So we're going back and forth, right through for that whole 20 seconds, all right? push it out each round, then we're turning over into lemon squeezers. Nice active position from here, core's engaged, glutes are firing, hands overhead, squeeze at the top for the whole 30 seconds. All right, then we're gonna turn back over into side plank rotation, keep those shoulders nice and stacked, rotate to the ceiling, nice control, stack those feet on top of each other, have that core bounce. All right, last 20 seconds is gonna be a hanging L-sit hold. So you're going up, keep nice and engaged, don't shake, all right? Hold that for the 20 seconds, stay up there. If you need to scale down, you can bring your knees in, pull one foot out and alternate per 10 seconds, all right? No bar variation, you do a hollow hold, you go hold right here for that time period, all right? Go through that four rounds, Crank it out, stay consistent with that 20 seconds. Now, for our wad, staying with the four round theme. You got four rounds, but each round is gonna be for time, so I want you to blast through these because you'll have time to rest, all right? You have a 400 meter run or two minutes of cardio, jump rope or whichever. Then we're going into 20 burpee pull-ups. So, how that burpee pull-up look? You're going right down into that burpee, right up, into that pull up, back down, get that rhythm, pull right through. Once you finish that, you have 20 box jump overs. You'll be at the regular height now of 24 and 20. It's gonna make it a lot easier. You don't need to stand all the way up on these. Get through 20 of those. Then you get a minute rest after each round. Bring that heart rate back down. Hit it again, three more rounds, all right? Now, no equipment modifications. You do not have a pull-up bar. What we're going to do is a double push-up burpee. So how that'll look, you go right down, push up, push up again into that burpee. All right. Your box jump over will be a broad jump. Simulate the same thing. Get that jump, cross over, hop back over, get a good work out of that, get that heart rate spiked, or you could do lunges back and forth get that intensity, all right? Have fun with this workout, burn it out. See you next time, have a great day.